Welcome back. 744 now. A man featured on America's Most Wanted was arrested in Polk County. Davey Alboran was wanted out of Osceola County for sexual battery on a child under 12. And as you just heard a short time ago, it was his own adult daughters who were leading the fight to find him. Joining us this morning, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd. Great to have you with us, Sheriff. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, it's very good to be with you this morning. Sheriff Chad, these daughters, I mean, God bless them. They went above and beyond to try to make sure that their dad was captured. What are your thoughts on what they have gone through over the last year and a half trying to make sure that this happened? Well, I appreciate their efforts. In fact, it took everyone working together. He was hiding from law enforcement. My friend, Sheriff Lopez, and his team did an outstanding job and got warrants, capital felony warrants. This guy needs to be in prison the rest of his life and never breathe air outside of prison. But how did that happen? It happened when we got a tip. And it was from the daughters. Now, we normally don't give up who the tipsters are, but since they've outed themselves, then we don't mind confirming that. So we snuck into Country Haven, where this guy was having a haven away from law enforcement, and we surrounded a house. It was late Sunday night, and we heard this silence, and then we heard noise. And our deputy said to their self, self, that sounds like someone trying to hide in a shed. And that's exactly what our canine and our deputies found. We found Alboran hiding in the shed and he told us his name was Jose. Well, he didn't look like Jose to us, but once we ran the fingerprint scanner on it, he, conf he, he confessed to us. He said, yep, that's me. You got me finally. So America's most wanted, was locked up because he made a mistake. He sought haven in Polk County, and we gave him haven in the Polk County Jail. Sheriff, the crimes that he is accused of uh, are pretty horrific, and I think that is probably why his children, his daughters, were so uh, you know, insistent on his capture. Well, absolutely. Anytime you sexually batter a child under 12 years of age, and there's two warrants for two different events, it doesn't get any worse than that. He's a pedophile. He's a child molester. He's the worst of the worst. And I applaud his adult daughters for working with us to capture him. And what about America's Most Wanted? Obviously, the, the case was featured on that show, and you guys highlighted that in your post when you put out that he was arrested yesterday. I, I'm sure you appreciate the efforts of shows like this. Absolutely, because the more transparency you have and the more light you have on bad guys, the less places they can hide. And he can run, but he can't hide whenever we're looking for him across the nation. And it's not just law enforcement. It's wonderful citizens like these young ladies. When the community works with us, we keep the community safe. If you see something or hear something, say something. You don't have to get involved. You don't have to come out publicly. No one ever has to know who you are. And this is an example of how we catch bad guys when people in the community work with us. Well, we certainly appreciate your efforts, and uh, we definitely appreciate you taking the time to join us here on Good Day Carolina this morning. Sheriff Grady Judd, oh, just real quick, will he be extradited back to Osceola? How, what's next, do you know? Absolutely. He will be transferred back to Osceola County, will, where he will stand trial there, okay. and that will be in the next few days. All right, all right. Well, we look forward to that update. Uh, Sheriff Judd, as always, thank you. All right, take care, Orlando. You take care. All right.